Well, a grim milestone this morning as the death toll, according to the Gaza Health Ministry, in less than five months of fighting has now surpassed 30,000 Palestinians in Gaza. The official number being given to us this morning is 30,035 killed since October the 7th, uh, almost, or well, sorry, just over 70,000 people injured as well. Now, the Israeli military... Uh, estimate among that death toll uh, around 12,000 of those Hamas fighters. Uh, but international organisations say that amongst the civilians, the worst affected have been women and children who have died in their many thousands. We've seen, uh, despite uh, the claims from the Israeli military that they are prioritising civilian lives and civilian welfare. We have seen over the months of the war the tone, particularly from uh, the Americans, change as they become increasingly concerned about the high number of civilians being killed in Gaza and not just being killed. As I said, I mentioned the injured as well. But the humanitarian crisis is becoming ever more acute. The desperation to get aid, the inability to actually get aid to to a lot of the Gaza Strip because of the fighting at the moment means that uh, countries have had to resort to aid drops uh, and people are scrabbling around for anything they can get. So the uh, 30,000 dead is is a figure, it is a milestone, uh, but it is an indication of the severity of the crisis inside Gaza as the fighting continues and as Israel continues to fight Hamas and to try and defeat Hamas and get their hostages home. Okay, for now. Um, thank you very much. Thanks a lot.